This is Drom Shakasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. There is a call from heaven and the voice of the Creator is called the Mamadaka, the voice of silent. That's the way the Creator choose to speak with each and every one of us. Lo berash Hashem, not in loud voice Hashem is talking, not in fire, not in water. The Creator He sends the wisdom, His true will from us to each and every one of us from inside. Betoch ami anochi yoshavet. Inside of my people I live. The Creator is telling us. Every one of us carries inside of himself a portion of heaven, Chelek Eloka Mimal, a divine portion of godliness, of purity, of light that its source is from the world of beyond. And no one can touch that light, no one can hold that light, no one can control that light, no one can possess that light. We can just feel it in our inner senses and with the eyes of our mind, with our faith. And the faith is in the night, means that you can recognize it only when you are throwing yourself completely on Hashem, on the Creator. Only when a person decides to sacrifice his life journey to that goal of connecting himself to the truth, then he will hold it, then he will sense it, then it will fill him from within and him and the Creator and the Creator wisdom that is the Torah, the Bible, will become one. Kud Shaberichu and Am Israel and the Torah, Oraita, is one package, is one unit. And we are all Am Israel. Am Israel are not only the Jewish people. Am Israel are the 12 complete holy tribes. How are you going to know about yourself if you're one of those tribes? If you're one of Am Israel, if you feel from within that you lack of something, that this world is not satisfying you, that the lust and desires and all the pleasures of this world are not satisfying you, not filling you from within, and you still lack of some answer, and you always look for a divine goal, for something holy, for something that will satisfy your thirst, it means that your soul is carved from under the throne of honor. It means that you have a godly soul that not belongs to this world. Because this world is the world of lie. It's called in the Zohar Kadosh Alma de Shikra, the world of lie. The purpose of creation, physicality of this world, it's to block and hide the light of the Almighty from His creations. That all of His creations will stand in a test living their life in complete darkness. And those ones 
that will not be satisfied from the darkness, that will not enjoy the complete satisfaction from sweetness of fruits, from the Hollywood movies, from the fantastic views of the great ocean. All those things are amazing, but are not completing our souls. And those ones that will not let the world fool them and will work hard to remove those curtains and will seek for the truth and will beg and will pray and will work and will demand and call Hashem from the bottom of their hearts, those will be the ones that will deliver the complete redemption to the wide world. Now today, our condition is very complex in a way. Because today you have a huge movement of people that are coming back to religion. And they are seeking for amazing things. And they're finding many answers. But some, something is still missing. Because even though that you are religious, and even though that you are keeping Torah mitzvot, and even though that you're waking up and you're going to the synagogue and you're praying in a minyan, and the men are putting tefillin and women are covering their heads, and everyone are going to the mikveh and keeping Shabbat and eating kosher, the Creator, He told us a few secrets to open our eyes to recognize the truth. And He told us, things that are important to me, you don't pay too much attention to those things. And things that are not in the peak of my priority, you take them and put them in front of your eyes. And it's not Hashem's intention at all. The Creator is guiding us in a way that will bring all human race and all creations of the Creator to that point that we will all be able to redeem together as one. The redemption will not <coughs> be the reward of few righteous people, of few holy servants of the Creator. If the redemption would take place in that way, that only individuals would be redeemed, it would be an act of cruelty, at least in my eyes. But Hashem said that we need to look for Him and to call for Him to make sure that there will be no one left behind. No one person can be left behind in the darkness. As long as you let your neighbor to stay in the darkness and you think to yourself that you're walking toward the light, I'm telling you, make a U-turn and start walking to the opposite direction because you are wrong. The Creator could have brought the redemption thousands of years ago if He would want it. But he didn't. Not because we were not worthy. It's written that the generations are falling. Our skills and our minds and the power of our memory and our happiness and our health and our powers are going down. We're not as wise as our ancestors. We're not as holy as our ancestors. We're very, very far from them. Not even like our great-grandparents, we're very, very far from them. The Creator Himself, He knew exactly what will happen to us. He knew that we will fall. He knew that we will reach rock bottom. He knew exactly what will happen to human race. He knew exactly to which sadness and depression and black bitterness we will fall. And He does not desire from us to do things that are above our power. 
He wants from us only one thing. Rachmana liba by the Creator, the Merciful. He wants the heart. Asuli mikdash v'shachanti betocham. He wants us to build an inner temple inside of ourselves and that He will show to us that He lives inside of us, inside of your body He lives. The power of your soul is so great, is so fantastic that when you will connect yourself to who you really are in the secret and the purpose of your creation, you will understand what godliness is all about. Godliness is not about worshipping. Godliness is not about being afraid. Godliness is about finding your true self. Understanding why the Creator created you as He wanted. To be part of that nation to belong to that community, that section in the world, to that family, to born in this neighborhood, to have those friends, those siblings. Those are the questions that you need to ask yourself. Who am I? And what is the purpose of my creation? Why the Creator made me like He made me? with my colors, with my accent, belong to my family, with those friends, why I had to learn in public school or in that school, why I had to be homeschooled, why we lived in the forest and why I came from the desert, why I was born in that country, why did I move to that? All those questions will be answered when you will ask them with truth. Because Karov Hashem Lechol Korav, Lechol Asher Ikreu Vehemet. Because the Creator is close to every person that will ask for Him with truth. So you should just be truthful while you're asking. And you don't need to pretend to be someone you're not. You don't need to pretend to be orthodox or strict or observant, or I don't know what, from, I don't know the meanings of those words at all. You should be yourself. And you should reveal the good, precious stones that have been treasured inside of you by your Father in Heaven. And you should let those diamonds shine from within. And that's the war against the evil inclination. That's the war against the powers of darkness. That they are trying to destroy your self-esteem to make you feel bad with yourself. That you will disrespect yourself. That you will blame yourself on right, on left. That you will hate yourself, criticize yourself, revenge yourself and finally destroy yourself. Because the Yetzer Ara, the evil inclination, cannot touch you with a little finger even. He does not have no permission to touch you. There is only one aspect that through that aspect he can contact you. And it's your mind. It's in your thoughts. The sadness and the negativity and the angers and all the foreign bad thoughts that are crossing our minds like flood, those are the thoughts of the evil inclination. This is the snake that is talking to you filthy words about yourself and about your beloved ones and telling you that Hashem forgot about you and that you don't have no way to succeed and that you're hopeless and worthless and that you're never going to make it and that you're a failure and that you're stupid and that you're ugly and that you're ungrateful and all the worst things in the world and He is just playing with your mind when in reality, who you are is a child of the Creator, a precious godly stone that belongs above the crown of the Creator. 
that the Creator is saying, Malo le'av she'eglait banav, a father that exiled his children, left with nothing in his hands. And every day the Creator is entering to a place that is called Mistarim, the hidden place of the Creator. And over there in that hidden place, Bamistarim Tivke Nafshi, the Creator is telling us his heart that his spirit is crying every day. And every night the Creator comes out and is roaring like a lion three times every night. Shaogish Agal Naveu calling his people to wake up from their deep sleep. Which deep sleep? To wake us in the middle of the night? No. To wake up our minds, to come back to our ancient memory of who we really are, children of our ancestors of Abram, of Isaac, of Jacob, of Sarah, of Rachel, Leah, and Rivka. Need to come back to our roots, to come back to ourselves, to remind ourselves who we really are, and to stop criticizing ourselves and blaming ourselves on things that the Creator Himself He did everything, He is doing everything, and He will complete and will do everything in the world. And no one can move a finger in this world without the permission and commandment and order of the Creator. Because late atar panui mine, there is no space that is empty from his godliness. And melochol aretz kevodo, and the wide world is full with his honor, means with his coverings. He covers himself with people. He covers himself in buildings. He covers himself in the sun, in views, in the sea. All those things are only coverings that are blocking the magnificent light of the Creator. And you cannot let yourself be satisfied with those curtains. And you should remove them all and go through them all and penetrate all that mask of illusion to find the truth, to know that there is no sky and there is no earth, there is no star and there is no road, there are no cars and there are no people, only coverings of the Almighty that is dressing himself in billions and billions of faces and voices and sounds and smells and talking to you from within because also you are a covering of the Creator. And when you're asking yourself, so who am I? You are the vessel to contain the blessing you are that one that's been chosen by the Creator to remember your true being. And that's why He is keep on knocking on your door and keep on calling you in His voice and sending messenger, messengers to call you and to wake you up from your sleep if it's through books or through friends or through people or through situations in life or through inspiring people online. He is calling to you from within. The verse is saying, Lecha amar libi bakshu amid. To you, your heart is telling and calling always one thing, he says. Search for me always, Hashem is saying. Call me, ask me. Demand me, desire me, want me, and I will come. Now I'll tell you, when he is telling us all the time, hey, call me, I will come, 
Ask for me, I will come. It sounds so pretty, but also very annoying. I'll tell you why. Because for thousands of years we are calling. We are. You are calling, and I'm calling, and our parents were calling, and our grandparents were calling, and we are calling. And someone is playing hard to get you. And there's an issue with that. So what's the issue? I'll tell you what's the issue. And the message is deep. And the message is a wake-up call. The Creator is covering Himself like we just explained. And through those curtains, He is showing to us the kingship of heaven. Malchuta de Ara ke Malchuta de Rakia. The kingship of this world means everything that you see on this world is reflecting us, the kingship of heaven, the condition of the Almighty in His kingship. Now if we are in heaven, so the Creator is in heaven, everything is well with Him and He's happy. That's what you can see on the faces of His children, in the face of His creation that is reflecting and representing Him the Creator, you can see His fingerprint in the face of creation. But when we are in the dark exile, when we are in the lowest place that we ever been in, it's coming to let us know, to ring our bells, to remind us that heaven is in trouble. That the Creator Himself fell into a certain place of darkness because of the separation from His beloved ones, that's our souls. Those are our souls. We are His children. You cannot imagine to yourself the sorrow of a Creator, of a parent that lost millions of children to the exile, to the darkness. That millions of his children are wandering and walking in darkness, lost their way, don't remember their name and not asking for their parent, don't know the way back. He lost all of his children in that journey of creation. And He's that Father that is waiting in that intersection, in that place that He exiled His so-called wife and so-called children and exiled them and sent them to that path out of a moment of anger as a result of one moment of sorrow. <coughs> and He's this Describing that moment as a mistake, and he is saying to us, Oy lo le'av banav. It was a mistake that I exiled my children. Haviu alai kapara. He is telling us, you need to bring forgiveness on me. To atone for me, for my mistake. Al shemi'ateti et alivana. On the fact that I minimized the light of the moon. That I sent the children from the table of their father. And the Creator Himself is expressing His regret on that moment. And all of the problems that you see in your spirit that your lack of confidence, that your self-esteem is broken and low, that you are sad, that you're falling to depressions, that you're angry, that you cannot control yourselves. Those are all messages from the Creator to tell you, I need your help, my children. Havu godel elokim. You need to give strength to God. You need to remind the Creator our relationship with Him because He Himself 
already fell to a certain aspect of despair, of sorrow. And when we are saying, we're waiting for your salvation, <coughs> it doesn't mean only that we are waiting for a salvation that will come from Him. It means also that we are waiting for His salvation, that He will be saved. A parent that lost his children, he is lost even if he is in his own house. Even if he lives in a palace, but he lost one of his children, he is lost for life. And kingship of heaven is similar to our kingship right here. From our feelings, we should learn on the Creator's feelings. He needs us to help Him. He needs us to call Him to wake Him up. Like that we are asleep. You have it Auta Dil Ela and it Auta Dil Tata. You have awakeness of heaven and you have awakeness of earth. When we are waking up downstairs in the down in the lowest worlds, we are moving branches that are creating awakeness in heaven. And when there is an awakeness in heaven, different but similar branches are moving us to wake up downstairs. And all this world is one package that it's united completely. And we must realize that the redemption depends in us. And we cannot wait that He will redeem us. We should redeem ourselves. We should make sure that we are awake and to wake up all of our siblings and to wake up and to call all of our beloved ones. To do what? To keep Shabbat, you will say? To eat kosher, you will say? I know, you're religious. I have no problem with that. But that's not my speech. I will call you and wake you up to find your true self and I'll tell you why. Because when I started my journey I was not looking for no religion and I found it in the end. I was looking for the truth and I found out that I'm Jewish. If you will search for the truth, you will find the truth about yourself. You're going to recognize who you are in the secret of your creation. You don't need to pretend that you're like me. Maybe you're different. Maybe the Creator made you different. One He made to look like an apple, one He made to look like a mandarin. One of them is better than the other. One is a zebra, one is a giraffe. One is them, one of them is better than the other. Both of them, they have their roles, they have their jobs, they have their missions in life. You have your mission and I have mine. Even if we have the same name, and we belong to the same community, and we're all from the same family, we have different missions in this world. And you should find your mission. And the fact that you are not Jewish, it doesn't mean that you are not one of Am Israel. Because the holy tribes of Israel are 12 and not only one. And the Jewish nation is one tribe, and the Levites are a second tribe, but you lack of another ten holy tribes that been blended in the nations in a way that you cannot recognize them today by the color of their skin or the color of their eyes or their accent. Because they look similar to the people that they live inside of them. But you know how can you recognize them? By looking into their insight. And inside of them, Hashem lives. And they have from inside an inner desire to search for the truth. And they are those truth seekers that are walking and breaking the world into half, searching for the truth and for God and for heaven's sake. And you are those ones. And if not you, so your neighbors. And every good person that you saw with your bare eyes is one of those lost souls. 
Because all the good souls are the souls of Israel. And even if it's hard for you to get, even, even if it's hard for you to understand, the reason that it's hard for you to understand is because you're not aware to the numbers. But every tribe of those tribes is in the minimum of 50 million people and in the maximum even maybe of 1 billion people, you can never tell. We are talking about hundreds of millions of people in the wide world that belong to the holy group, to that family of Am Israel, the children of Jacob and his four wives. Jacob gave his blessing to 12 tribes. 10 of those tribes been exiled by the kingship of Ashur. And they disappeared from the world. We cannot recognize them. But all the converts and all the people that are Israel lovers, that they are admiring Am Israel and they have passion to the Torah. And today they will call themselves Christians. And today they will call themselves Muslims. And today they will call themselves, I don't know how. It's not important. Because those are only names that have been attached to them because of thousands of years of exile. But in reality, the Creator is recognizing His children in those faces. And He's asking my children, when will you come back to me? And they need to come back from Mexico and from Guadalajara, and they need to come from Egypt, and they need to come from China, and they need to come from Tibet, and from Uzbekistan, and they need to come from Russia, and they need to come from all four wings of the universe. And that's the secret of redemption, that 12 tribes are waking up and making their way back home. Home is where your heart is. Home is where you find Hashem. In the future to come, the land of Israel will grow to the, si to the city of Jerusalem, will grow to the size of the land of Israel. And the land of Israel will be expanded to the size of the wide world. Means that all the world will be complete, will hold its holiness. It's not that the land will stretch. It's the holiness will expand. There will be light all over the place. The night will illuminate like the day. And that is the spirit of Mashiach. And you don't need to question yourself anymore about that. Because the answer is simple. Yes. And you should follow your heart. Without doubting yourself on your true being. If you're Jewish, or if you're from the children of Asher, or maybe God, or maybe Zvulun, or maybe Naftali, or maybe Sachar, or maybe Shimon, we don't know. You have more options. <laughs> to be Jewish <laughs> is not the peak of achievements. It's not the highest level of them all. To be who the Creator made you is the best thing in the world. To argue with your Creator, no, I want to be different. Why you made me like this? Why you made me with those colors? Why you gave me that accent? Why from that family? You are arguing with someone that knows so much better than you. You don't remember who you are. You don't know why you need to go in that path. You don't know why you need to face those challenges. Because you still don't remember who you are in the secret of your creation. You don't remember all of your lifetimes. You don't have a clue who you really are. You don't know yourself. So how can you know that you know better than Him? Faith means that you know that He knows better. That you believe in something that you cannot see. The faith is in the night. It's night. You cannot recognize, but you believe in what you believe. 
You believe that you are a child of the Creator. Based on what? On the feeling that you feel inside of yourself. And you not ignore that feeling. Because the Creator gave you those senses and He gave you those tools of mind and emotions to feel and to sense. And if you're going to disqualify your heart and erase your mind and destroy your brain and, and, and throw away your kidneys, so okay, I understand why you can't feel anything. But if you will remind yourself that Abram was not Jewish, and that he was calling the Creator out of the cave, screaming to heaven, Hey, there's someone over here. That's how he found Hashem. Is there someone running this creation? That's the way that he carved his way toward Hashem. He went into the darkness and he looked for answers. And he asked the sun and he was talking to the moon and he investigated every star in the sky and he broke the idols and he argued with his father and with his brother and he went and argued with the king Nimrod that was the king in that generation and he fought with everyone until he found the answer. And when he found the answer, you know what the Creator told him? Now go look and find yourself. Lech lecha. Go, look, find yourself, my child. Go. You made a huge job, amazing work. You found Hashem. You find the an found the answer. You taught all your students that I'm here. Now go find yourself, please. Abraham asked him, where should I go? He told him, to the unknown. Don't worry. I'll be with you. Sent him to the desert to go and find himself. His true self. That's the mission. To know who you are in the secret of your creation. Not to ignore the signs. Not to ignore the messages of the Almighty. To fight with the negativity that is attacking you from 360 degrees. And to focus in your soul. In the light of your spirit. And to hold it. Like you found the greatest treasure of them all. Because if you found something. You should believe that it lives inside of you. That it exists inside of you. And you should not let it go ever. No matter what you're going to go through, no matter what people will tell you and will say about you, you should just become like Abram, the Hebrew, Avraham Ivri, that all the world were standing in one side and he was standing in the opposite side. And don't be scared to follow him because when he went into the fire, the fire couldn't catch him. So the fire won't catch you too. And the water won't catch you. And the flood of negative thoughts won't drain you and won't drown you. If you will aim your heart to the truth and going to follow it with all your heart, you're going to find it. And those ones that were walking in darkness, they saw a huge light. And you can be one of those ones, but you should believe in yourself. Don't wait that someone else will believe in you. You should believe in yourself because you really found something. So don't doubt it. Don't ever doubt what you found. And the Creator will answer all of our prayers and will bring complete salvation and redemption to all of His children in the wide world that everyone will know Him and will call Him in His name. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.